that lead or people will pass them. The second nine starts with a great par four, this 10th hole, and really features a big tree off the tee. I love this tee shot. It is narrow. You have to thread a bunch of trees. This is a great opportunity to tee that driver up low and chase it down that fairway. Second shot, downhill ever so slightly to a green that chases away from you. What a wonderful, wonderful hole. that swing all day that's beautiful well this should be unpredictable don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here well struck sitting at nine under par currently in the lead game of the seven. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is rich Oh my, right by the hole. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Oh, how about that one? Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Downhill par three is rich. Lots of fun to play, particularly when it's only a wedge. Yes, but be careful from the wind. This green is surrounded by large trees, and that wind can really swirl around this green. It's a good opportunity to make birdie, but bogeys might happen if you're not careful. A yeah, tidy-looking shot, that one. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Leading by three strokes now. Rich the 12th, the par four, measuring just over 400 yards. How do you play it? Grip it and rip it. Those fairway bunkers down the right-hand side, they're really not a big bother. So try and take those on as best you can. The further you drive it down there, your second shot becomes so much easier as this green is perched above you. Again, another good birdie opportunity here. Had a boy. Good shot. Time for the second shot at the 12. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, almost went in. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Just didn't drop. Big putt for par coming up. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Well, birdies would certainly be on the mind of the players when they stand on the tee at the par 5 13th, Rich. But there are bogeys here as well if you're not careful. Don't get careless with this tee shot. Don't avoid the water on the right and try and hit it down the left-hand side because out of bounds comes in quickly just left of those fairway bunkers. From the fairway, you have to decide where you want to go for it or lay it up out to the right. Any shots missed out to the right will leave a delicate chip to a green that runs away from the player towards the water.
Yeah, that's a great play, Rich. Not quite on the dance floor, but a mighty drive. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Why not take another look at that effort? Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's head to the 14th, Rich. A short par four, but you've got to hit your tee shot up the hill. Up the hill, dog leg from right to left, but one of the most generous fairways on this golf course, if not the most generous. Anything up to the right-hand side will open up the second shot to the green that sits well below you. Any tee shots missed over to the left, however, you could have some tree issues. Nicely done. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Wow, what a shot. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Super shot. A quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first place with Xander Shoffley in second. TPC River Highlands has a number of gettable holes, but how fascinating is this drivable par 4 15th? This hole is feast or famine for most players. Any tee shot that is missed a little bit to the left will go chasing into the water. Any tee shots that are bailed out to the right now you've got a difficult proposition you're faced with. You have to hit a pitch shot, a delicate pitch shot, to a green that sits well above you, but also runs away from you towards the water. What a par four this is indeed. Well, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, so close. That's disappointing. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. And that should secure the par on this one. Now that'll hurt. Free putting in for par. What a great feeling that must be. Seemingly an insurmountable lead for this player with just four to play. Going with the five iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And after that hole, 
this player currently holds top spot on the leaderboard with Xander Shoffley in second. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Four feet to the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. A wonderful putt. We can claim it. Back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. And with that hole behind them, this player currently holds down top spot on the leaderboard. And Xander Shoffley is second. And the final hole at TPC River Highlands. If you've got a low score on the board, you really want to capitalise with a great tee shot here. Tee shot should be favoured down the right-hand side. The first fairway bunker over on the right is really no bother for all the players. The one on the left can collect a few errant tee shots. Second shot back up the hill ever so slightly to a green that's just begging, begging for you to go flag hunting. Wonderfully played. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 155. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Outstanding shot. High quality. Get this putt to drop. Now it's a tremendous performance around TPC River Highlands. The most birdies made, and they are your Travelers Championship winner. And an outstanding win for this player, capturing the Travelers Championship. Hats off to him. Well, they came, they saw, and they conquered. They took down a fierce rival. And that's a victory they should be proud of, Henny. Oh, absolutely. They silenced the giant today. They got the job done against the odds. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there, and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.